Tommy Palm. Five pounds of adorable fluffiness. It's a dog obsessed with treats, pets, cuddles and snuggles and being loved. Everything has to relate to some kind of adorability. He just exudes swag and attitude, and I feel like he can never take a bad picture. He's the cutest. I kind of look at him as a cotton ball with legs. He's a cute, loving dog that wants to be held and pet, and that's really it. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Cosett. This is my dog, Tommy, who's an intern here at Tumblr HQ in New York. Tommy gets invited to a lot of the parties here around New York City. Tommy is a Fashion Week star. It'll actually say Tommy Palm as the guest plus one and I have to be his plus one. He has a life that probably a lot of us want where, you know, he can go to all these amazing events, meet these famous people, be carried around. He's done a lot of stuff. I'm okay with that. Like, he's, he's earned the right. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Pets are absolutely adorable. Cute little animals just happen to do well on almost any website. When they see a cute puppy who's loving his life and enjoying life, it's hard not to smile. You know, I think that's why we love him, just because he's just is that quintessential cute dog. It's hard for me to go in the subway without having, you know, five or six photos of him taken just to the commute to work alone. I'd be walking up the stairs and a girl go running past me and say, I had the worst day, but you just completely made my day and everything's so much better. Just knowing that I kind of bring a smile to people's day is amazing, just by having Tommy with me. About four or five years ago, I knew I wanted to adopt a Pomeranian. I went on to Google and searched most adorable Pomeranian for adoption in New York City. Sure enough, there's a picture of Tommy there, contacted a lady and went down that weekend. The lady said, just wait here, uh, vanished into the house. The door opened and this ball of fluff came running out and circling around the yard. Knew I had to have him. I was working here for about six months before somebody noticed that I was posting pictures of Tommy on my own personal blog on Tumblr. They said, well, you know, you should try bringing him into the office one day. And as soon as he walked in through the uh, front door, everybody just fell in love. Tommy Palm is Tumblr's intern. He's been interning here for about a year. He is 11 years old, a little too old to be an intern if you ask me. He spends some of his days going through and finding the cutest animals and Although I found them to be mostly female Pomeranians. He is an ex-show dog. He won, I think, almost every show he was in. His hair's perfectly combed. He's got a great smile or a great look. He is some internet dog magic, that one. Someone suggested, hey, you know what? One of my favorite things to do is to run a Tumblr blog for my cat. You should do the same thing for Tommy. So I started one, and within a month, the thing just took off. Tumblr makes it really easy to follow a lot of these blogs and have your your daily feed full of these. Anyone who follows you has the opportunity to go and share your content to their followers, and it's kind of like a giant spider web of like cool things on the internet. I found that just the ability to post GIFs and really beautiful photo sets on Tumblr, the, the engagement there is just, just happens to be much stronger. When you go to tommypond.com, his Tumblr page is just page after page of beautiful photo that just stream. If he posts a picture, picture of just himself, on average you'll get about 400 or 500 notes and reblogs. And that means there's people who thought the picture is so amazing that they wanted to reblog it on their own personal blog and share it with other people. That's amazing to me. There was an animal that was going to be put down to sleep in California. And just knowing how much uh, coverage Tommy gets on Tumblr uh, made a nice little post in Tommy's voice. And within an hour or so, that post alone got over a thousand notes. And sure enough, the dog was adopted, saved. Just to know that you're, you're contributing to that and helping these people is, is great. Cheeseburger, BuzzFeed, Tumblr, we're here as a community and to you know bring our users and their animals out to the forefront. And so we're just here to showcase that and, and share it with our community and have our community connect to that. I never intended Tommy to be uh, that famous. Tumblr kind of came along and you know when you have a lot of people you know, requesting more photos and wanting to see more and more of Tommy, you're just kind of doing it to help people and then before you know it, it's grown into this huge site. I don't actually consider Tommy a meme overall. I think he's a, a lovable personality on the internet and something people frequently go back to to visit. Uh, and I think Tommy agrees. Social media continues to drive animal memes and other just memes in general. It's easier to make these memes, it's easier to spread, and I think it's just gonna make um, memes just more part of mainstream culture.
there's always going to be that popularity because I think everyone can resonate with animals. They're not going away. They're here to stay.